And the Baltimore Museum of Art and the Walters Art Museum both decide to close down for the rest of the year, citing the rise in COVID cases. WJZ is live in Mount Vernon tonight. As Rachel Medentoff explains, it certainly was not an easy decision to make, but officials say it is the right one. Rachel. Rick, both of these museums acknowledge that this is a disappointing reality, but say they want to do their part in slowing the spread of the virus and protecting their visitors, staff, and volunteers. Two of Baltimore's iconic institutions, the Walters Art Museum and the Baltimore Museum of Art, will close their doors starting Wednesday, the 25th. Julia Marciari Alexander, director at the Walters, says she realizes the holiday season can contribute to super spreader events. Something the museum wants to avoid. So we felt that it was in support during this period of time, um, in support of people and trying to help stem the spread. The Walters says even though they've been open at just 25% capacity and have taken extensive precautions, the rising COVID-19 numbers signal this temporary closure is in everyone's best interest. The Baltimore Museum of Art echoes that message and adds, quote, it pains us to close our galleries again, as we've heard from so many visitors what a valuable respite they offer during these difficult times. Some people say it's worrisome that these positive outlets are now on hiatus. You have mental health issues too when people stay home for too long. So people have get to have somewhere to go to. Both institutions plan to reopen in January and encourage people to instead look into their online collections. But I think a lot of museums have done a great job with programming that way and being able to offer those virtual tours. So. Gabby Salomon says she thinks the closures are best for now. I think you have to keep people safe, not only the people that would go to the museum, but the people that work there. The BMA plans to reopen January 6th. Its sculpture garden will remain open, weather permitting, and the Walters will reopen mid-January. In the meantime, if you'd like to check out their online collections, head over to WJZ.com. We have links. Live in Mount Vernon, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.